Okay, guys, I'm back. This is really squishy, guys. Squish, 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 squash. I'm throwing down. Whoa, where'd it go? I found it. Look. Anyway, so we have we have this piece of play-doh, right? We have some play-doh here. We need a half of it. Do you know what that means? A half of it. Or, well, we're going to need a big circle or a small circle. Half of it would be a small circle. All of it would be a big circle. So let's get a big circle. If you want, if you do a small circle, like you save some Play-Doh, you could actually, you can actually do the equations. I'm going to take a little bit off so it can do some, some decorations. Okay, now we still have some Play-Doh. We put the Play-Doh on the ground nice and like good, like this, if it's a ball. Well, now, we need something like this. Or, if, if you could put Play-Doh in here, in this cap, it could work. Also, you could just squish it down and make it flat like a pancake. Uh, do it like this. Slowly squish it. Put it again. Well, now I put it, put it here. See, we have a nice flat surface. If you have something like this, like a bowl or something. Good. Slowly stick it down. Push, push, push. Once you push some more, once you push and you think it's done, you take it out. And look, you form a circle. Now, you slowly take the extra pieces off without ripping the circle. You could also do that by just like putting it again harder like this. And you could actually just take it off easily. It does not work now, but yeah, I just did it. Look, a nice, neat circle. How nice. Now, if you have, do you have a mold of an arrow? If you do, you're going to use this to put on here. So, look, I used the extra Play-Doh I had. And squish it up. Um, I think I have too much for this, so I slowly take a bit off and use that piece. Let me squish it on. You squish it on here, actually, the mold. And you squish it down on the ground. It's now nice and squished. And let me slowly take it off. Oh, it already came off anyway. So look, so, well, some of it is already off anyway let me take these pieces off Ugh, i need to do that slowly or i'll just do it again like this it right now looks like a shirt or something, but it's a nice one. You put the arrow on. This is an arrow turning left. This is an arrow turning right. This is an arrow going up, up. This is an arrow going down. It was a nice time learning with you about this arrow. This arrow is a great thing. Where is it pointing now? You're right. It's left. Where is it pointing now? If you said right, you're right. Where is it pointing now? Yes, it's up. Where is it pointing now? It's pointing down. Here, in our arrow, is supposed to look like this. If you have any extra Play-Doh like I do, you squish it up. And you could add some decorations. 
So I'll use this. I'll use this for some decorations. I'm gonna slowly like flatten this up here. Look, it looks like a small mini pancake. It's so thin, actually. Look how thin it is. I slowly, I'm slowly gonna fold it. I'll decorate my arrow. <laughs> Look, and there's one more arrow inside the arrow. Cool. Okay, and. So you roll it like this, like a cool snake we made in another video. Okay. That was just my second video. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it around. If you like my idea, you can do it if you want. Slowly wrap it around on the side. I like my arrow now. It looks like, it looks so nice. It's okay, there's some extra space. See, I have some extra space here. But look at my arrow now. I'll just save this bunch extra inside here. Guys, I hope you had a fun time learning how the arrow, learning about where the arrow points. Um, and learning and um, making a lamp out of Play-Doh with me. Have a great time, guys. If this, if, keep, Act, you should actually keep the arrow handy. I still have a lot of more videos to do. Anyway, have a great time. Bye. And make sure to go do sculpting more. This is the best and interesting kind of art ever, guys. Right? Have a great time now. Bye.